Hey guys, Thunderstud here, and I am the king of games with Preda Plants. Now, originally for this month, I wanted to cog with Dragon Unity before this new box came out, because Dragon Unity absolutely killed it in the grand tournament this round, and nothing changed. It was the same old Dragon Unity deck we all know. We all know it's a super one trick pony, but just the way the meta was slotting out with all those level augment Shiranui's. Level Augment Shiranui had to hope they pulled all their Floodgates versus Dragon Unity and still hope that Dragon Unity didn't grab any Cosmic Cyclones or Hate Nades. So it was really, really beating up Shiranui, and as a result of being a coin flip OTK deck, it could still snake wins from any other archetype. So it was wildly successful with no new support. All it took was a change in the meta. So that's why it's important to keep eyes on old archetypes that could be strong, like maybe Monarchs or something. When the meta changes, it gets stronger, just like Dragon Unity. So I was going to walk through the meta, the cog run with Dragon Unity, but uh, new box came out, more interesting stuff. I can just get my point across about Dragon Unity just by talking about it. So we went with Preda Plants, guys. This deck is so wild. People are sleeping on this deck. So tough. Look at how streamlined it is. It's just six Preda Plant monsters, four Invoke cards, three Sphere Boys, Three Cosmic Cyclones, some of the best staples in the game. More Preda Plant cards, and then a, a Treacherous, guys. It's so beautiful. This deck is lovely. Absolutely love it. The key to success in this deck is using Alistair correctly, okay? People see Invoked in a deck, they think, Oh, sweet, I just summon my Invoked, summon some monsters, and win the duel. It's not at all what's going on with this deck. A lot of the times, your Alistair is just a hand trap, or... Some of the times you're going to normal summon your Alistair, search an invocation, s do your fusion with monsters from your hand, summon your Chimera Felicia, banish your own invoker, then once you banish your own invoker because you didn't use him to fusion, you use your invocation, return the banish invoker to your Felicia. Now with the invoked in hand and Felicia's own effect, if it's attacking a monster, remember you used your banish on your own invoke, so you didn't banish your enemy. You swing at your enemy, they lose a thousand, you jump up to 3500, you have one Alistair, you're now 4500, you have two Alistairs, you're now 5500, you're hidden for lethal over any monster, dodging Kyroids. It's just a crazy deck, guys. We're running level Og, you're definitely not using level Og every duel. You might to be safe, but generally you're not using it every duel. It's not a big part of your win con, but when you use it, oh my lord, it hits your opponent off guard and it makes you feel like a genius. So, so good. Love this deck, guys. People sleep so tough on this deck. So many wild plays with Chimera Felicia. People don't read his effect. It's just fun. It's fantastic. I want to play with other things instead of Invoke. Other things instead of Level Og. I tried with Tuners. Tuners don't really work with Preda Practice because they'll only let you summon fusion monsters and it's a good way to spam your field for doing those synchros in the first place. So it's kind of give and take. We decided to go with just the invoked monsters to use our enemies monsters but uh, you can't summon them on your own so it's all just picking on your enemy. This is your boy. All we do is support the boy. Support him with back row hate. Support him with hand traps. That's all it is guys. Get him out. Support him win the duel. So I hope you guys enjoy the live duel. It's against a deck I faced a bunch and a deck this deck actually has a lot of outs on. This deck is so sneaky guys. It's so sneaky. You think you only have to worry about a targeting banish but no. Chimera Felicia is just so strong. It's nuts guys. Try it out. Play it if you want it. It's wild. Great stuff. Hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching. Alright how's it going guys? We're going for a live cog match. We're at rank 5. Four wins in a row. We're using Preda Plants, guys. Preda Plants mixed with Invoke. But this is probably about as much of a backseat as Invoke is going to take in any deck. He's really almost just a hand trap and a level Og target and a way to search his invocation. You really. We have no means to summon our Invoked monsters without other people's monsters. So they're really just accessory. Our whole monster, there's the rank up is for Preda Plant. So we really want Preda Plant. So this is going to be a Neos. And uh, this is a pretty, pretty bad, uh, pretty bad hand. We should be okay. 
even if there's favorite hero shenanigans and all that stuff, there's still ways around it with multiple Preda plants. So we really just need a Preda monster to the top deck. And that would be great. We also have our Treacherous. But again, it's like Neo's Fusion and stuff. AD Changer. It's a pretty greedy play, but I guess he's playing around Luna Lights or something. So there's a favorite hero. We can still get around that pretty easily. Okay. Well, not pretty easily, but we can get around it. So here we're going to one. We just need an evoke really to do it though. So we go for one. Uses effect. I want to put it there. Now we're gonna. <sighs> I will use his monster. What do you got for me? What's that one card? It's probably a cosmic cyclone, honestly. So we'll go. We're gonna use his monster. Boy. I can't banish him because he can't be targeted. Level Og wouldn't really be useful right now. We're gonna set that. I'm pretty sure he has a Cosmic Cyclone though. And now we're gonna turn. So all we gotta do is really wait for him to uh, swing into us. Then we have Sphere Boys. So it should be pretty, pretty chill. Man, two favorite heroes. What is going on with this boy? Uh, it's really okay though. Because we have two sphere points, so. Two sphere boys. Mostly doesn't really hurt us. That actually just really hurts him. Because now he can't Neos Fusion us. So, uh, a little greedy for our boy there. Because what does, uh, what does a Necro Valley really do to me? You know? Still can't target him with the Treacherous. Oh, we could get two of our boys out though. First I'm gonna level Og one. Before we throw this boy away. And we're gonna use the boy on the field. Because we gotta keep the Sphere Boy. He's our only, our only saving grace versus these uh, favorite heroes. We can use the boy on the field though. And with this... It's a play I've done. I had the replay, but I had to get rid of it. it when you have two, and let's say we're facing a 5k Neos, I have two Preda Plant uh, Chimera Felicias. So I attack with one, he loses a thousand, he's down to 4k, I'm, down to, I'm up to 3500. I lose my monster, I die. But, I attack again with my second Preda Plant, and we do just fine. Because he'll lose the second thousand. Uh, this isn't a play I'm about to make, obviously. But, uh... What does he got? What is your back row, boy? Damn. So what do you got? You have a treacherous of your own back there? What do you got? What do you got? No Neos Fusion. There go all the favorite heroes. And he's Necro Valley himself. So now our Treacherous is going to be super deadly if he somehow manages a field with the top deck. And he doesn't, he gives me the cog. This deck has a lot of ways around favorite hero, it's really weird enough. But like I was saying, let's say he just had his 5k Neos favorite hero, that's it on the field. I summon two Preda Plant Felicias, you attack with one, that Neos loses a thousand, you gain 500, you still lose that battle. The Neos is down to 4k. He stays down to 4k, you use the second Predator Plant, he's down to 3k, we're up to 3500, we're over him. Why that guy just lost that duel is because he used that Necro Valley. Necro Valley literally did nothing to my plays, and it stopped his Neos Fusion, which helped my lethal. So, uh, 
Great, great stuff, guys. Super easy cog. Um, this deck's wild. It's so, so wild. I tried other combos with tuners, but tuners don't really work with the spell card, because when you use the spell card, uh, the Predoplanet spell card, you can't summon from the extra deck except fusion monsters. So really, this was the best way to play it. It was so wild, so aggressive. I had some replays saved, like the one, like the play I just talked about where I swing over um, favorite hero, Neos. But uh, I had to get rid of them. Wait, Konami runs 10 replays now, guys. That is fantastic. They were really letting me down with replay system before. But to come back with 10 replays, that's absolutely amazing. So uh, I'm super excited about that. Got this cog out of the way. Nothing but Shiranui, Dark Magician, and Cyber Dragons. Guys, come on. Play some new stuff that's not witchcraft. But uh, super fun cog run. I love this deck. I love Preta Plants, guys. They are so rogue right now. People are sleeping on them so tough. Our boy is so strong. Uh, sorry to go. Let's look at the rank up. We're using that new Taya Sleeve and Matt. Go, go, go. All this stuff. King of Games rank up. Let's look at what we're fighting from our boy. He's Legend 3, so he was not a pushover. Two Necro Valleys. That guy really wants the Necro Valley. He's just making greedy plays. Like, the AD Changer was a greedy play, the Necro Valley was a greedy play, it was all super greedy plays. And it just doesn't make sense having the mask change with the favorite heroes and stuff like that. It's it's easy to run away with this deck. But uh, there you go guys, King Games this month. I probably should have done a little earlier, because uh, this last week the replays were suffering. Maybe I'll try another super early cog next month. We'll have to see. What I really wanted to cog was Dragon Unity to make a point about how well it did in the KC Cup and how you should keep an eye on old archetypes. Even if nothing's changed, as long as the meta changes, these old archetypes could be strong. But, uh, Preta Plants, guys. Super wild. Great, great stuff. King of games. Hopefully this will get me something with those 200 gems. I need so many cards from the box still. But thanks for watching, guys. It's been fun.